Hello, it's Orange 22 and today's topic is prostate cancer and some of the myths and misconceptions around prostate cancer. There's a misconception that prostate cancer isn't a very serious or deadly cancer and it's a cancer that you don't really have to worry about. When in reality, prostate cancer is one of the most deadly cancers of all. And in fact, in the US and the UK, and probably many other countries too, prostate cancer is the second biggest cancer killer of men and the cancer that a non-smoking man is most likely to die from. So why do we have this misconception that it's not very deadly? I'm going to be explaining that in this video. But first, let's look at the grim reality. Let's look at prostate cancer deaths. First, an article from The Guardian, which I've linked below. Prostate cancer now kills more people in breast cancer, UK figures reveal. So this is for the UK, and this article is a few years old, so this has been going on for a while now. So the article says, Prostate cancer has become the third most common cause of cancer death in the UK, overtaking breast cancer, despite improvements in survival rates for both. The top cancer in the UK is lung cancer, which are smokers, which claimed 35,486 lives in 2015, followed by colon cancer with a total of 16,067 people. However, new figures reveal that 11,819 men died in the UK from prostate cancer in 2015, overtaking breast cancer, which resulted in the deaths of 11,442 women. I mean, that's basically equal, but it shows that prostate cancer is killing basically as much as breast cancer. Now, there's not much to say there, pretty much speaks for itself. Now, they're saying that the reason why prostate cancer deaths are increasing is because men are living longer, and that prostate cancer deaths aren't as serious because the average age of death is higher, but I'm going to explain why that's also a little bit misleading in just a little bit. But for right now, let's take a closer look at prostate cancer deaths in the UK. And here's cancer deaths for men in the UK. You can see number two at 12,039 deaths is prostate cancer. Again, it's the cancer a non-smoking man is most likely to die from. And here's a chart kind of visualizing it. Uh, notice 14% of all deaths are prostate cancer for men. Prostate cancer is significant enough that it gets its own section in the charts. So hopefully you're beginning to see that this whole myth and misconception that prostate cancer isn't very deadly and isn't very serious is completely false. And it's a very dangerous myth to spread because it could cause people to ignore something that could potentially kill them. But let's go on and look at deaths of prostate cancer in the US. Okay, so this is the eight deadliest cancers for men in the United States. This is from the National Institution of Health. Don't worry, I've linked all of this below so you can see it. Look at prostate cancer. 29,430 deaths. Don't be fooled that it's not number two on the list. If you actually look at the numbers, you see that prostate cancer is the second deadliest cancer on this list. Once again, only behind lung cancer. So in the United States, if you are a non-smoking man, prostate cancer is the cancer you are most likely to die from. So here's another chart on male cancer deaths in the U.S., this is from SEER, which is also from the National Institute of Health. And don't worry, I've linked all this stuff in the description below. These sites can be really confusing, and it's really hard to get these kinds of uh, charts if you don't know exactly where to look. So I've screenshotted it to make it easier for you. But I promise you, it's all going to be linked so you can see that I'm not making this up. But this is up to date. This is 2022. And this one is showing that prostate cancer is killing 34,000 men a year which is more than the 29,000 that I showed you in the last chart, probably because of the population increase. But what I want to show is that regardless of whether we're talking 2015, 2022, the US, the UK, the official government statistics are very consistent in one thing. Prostate cancer is the second biggest cancer killer of men. It is the cancer a non-smoking man is most likely to die from. Anybody who says that prostate cancer isn't a serious cancer doesn't know what they're talking about or are lying to you. Why do you keep seeing that prostate cancer has a 99% survival rate? 
Just Google it anywhere and pretty much everyone says that prostate cancer has a 99% survival rate. What's going on? Well, the answer is early onset and prevalence. Let me explain. So the first, early onset, is pretty easy to understand. Prostate cancer can start at a very young age, at least relatively speaking for cancer. So let's say you're a 55-year-old man and you're diagnosed with prostate cancer. You die 12 years later at the age of 67, right? You survived that five years, but you still died young. It took 12 years to kill you, but because you got it at a young age, you still died at a young age. That's one way the 99% figure is a little bit misleading. It's technically true, but it makes it look less serious than it really is. The second is prevalence which means how common prostate cancer occurs. And here's how that works. Now, the second is something called the prevalence or the incidence. Now, the prevalence and incidence are actually two separate things. I'm not going to bore you on the semantics of the difference on the definitions. For the purpose of this video, this chart is showing you how many new cases of prostate cancer there are per year, which would technically be considered the incidence. Think of it as the number of new diagnoses. As you can see, prostate cancer is by far the cancer that men are most likely to get at 260,000. A lot of men get prostate cancer, way more than any other cancer. What this means is even though most men survive prostate cancer, so many men get prostate cancer that the smaller percentage of prostate cancer that ends up being deadly turns out to be a large number of deaths. So think of it this way. What's a bigger number? 10% of a thousand or 20% of a hundred? Well, the answer of course is 10% of a thousand because 10% of a thousand is a hundred and 20% of a hundred is 20 and 100 is a bigger number than 20. Even though 20% is bigger than 10%, because you're taking 10% of a larger number, the total number of deaths of prostate cancer is greater than most other cancers. And that's why looking at the high survival rate of prostate cancer is misleading when assessing just how deadly prostate cancer is. So I just wanted to make this video because it really does irritate me how there's a lot of misinformation and misconception and a lot of critics of the men's rights movement trying to attack prostate cancer and say that men's rights activists are making an issue out of something that's not really a serious issue. And this is very untrue. And I've had personal losses with prostate cancer. So for me, it kind of extra irritates me. But there's a lot of people watching this who have probably lost someone to prostate cancer because it is the biggest cancer killer of men who don't smoke in the US and the UK. And those are the two countries that I have stats for. There's probably way more countries around the world where this is true for. But anyway, I put the descriptions in the link below. Uh, thank you for watching. I do apologize for my long hiatus. I promise you I'm going to come back full force and make videos for you guys on a daily basis. Maybe not every day, but anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Blue Orange 22. And just one last bonus. Uh, this is cancer deaths in the U.S. Uh, this was per the CDC. Uh, the right column, the orange column, is showing cancer deaths for men and women. When all cancer deaths are combined for men and women, prostate cancer is the third biggest killer overall. Just.